Our world was turned upside down this week when our mom became really sick. In just a few hours, she lost her ability to talk and had no idea who we were. After seven days in the hospital, we received devastating news. She has brain cancer. We filmed the video before her diagnosis. To hear how she is doing, please watch till the end. She is a fighter. Welcome back to Chloe Simone Says. I am here with some guests of honor and they don't need an introduction. Hi, Chi Chi. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Lily. We're so excited. We haven't been on camera in months because Chloe had the baby, but here we are again. You know, it's so fun to do these videos, and since Lily is here, what better time to do another video? This is just a convert, a family conversation with my mom and so Lily. So hold on to your hat. Who knows what we might say, we especially me. I'm really known to put my foot in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be careful. I'll be more careful. Okay. But what's the fun in that? Just be yourself, right? Yeah. Well, it's hard to not... It's, it's exhausting to not be anyone but yourself. Yeah. You know, trying I, I so hard. I just have a, ha a tendency to say the wrong thing. But people like me anyway, because I don't really mean any harm by it. There's so much political correctness. I think people are afraid of the cancel culture. Yeah. And I think it's refreshing the uncensored GG. Oh, Lordy. You don't, you don't know the <laughs> real me. No, you know what? I have a really kind heart, but I have a little bit of a temper sometimes, and then I feel really bad about it. So I don't have much of a temper anymore. Temper. Not really. So this video is all just going to be about our family conversation. We're going to talk about our business. I want to hear from my mom and Lily about the what they were, what th were they thinking. <laughs> 10 years ago when they started Grace and Joy, and just the changes that we have made as a family in the last 10 years, we've, I would say we have grown a lot. Well, first of all, we had a different name when we first started, didn't we? What was the name? I forget. No, you I don't. tried to put it out on my It was mind. called Santosha, but it didn't really work for us, and we changed the name, and we just changed the name boldly to Grace and Joy. I didn't tell a single person. I just changed the sign and changed the logo, overnight and people would run into the store I never you liked the old your name. name and you're not the owner I go I'm the owner no you're not the owner anymore I go I'm the owner I'm the first person I'm the only owner that opened this store we just rebranded and they got mad which a lot of businesses rebrand yeah. you have to if something isn't working I for you you have popular. to pivot people do that more in America than like oh. Yeah. Well, the well, Kardashians do it all the time. You just got to rebrand. If something isn't working, you have. I say in business, though, you really have to be flexible and always be changing. I'm always, always changing things up because you can't be stagnant. Yeah. If, it, if selling books doesn't work for you, you should move on and sell other things like Amazon. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Well, when you both started Grace and Joy, what were you thinking? Were you excited for the new venture that I you were was. put on? Is Grace has Grace and Joy become something that you didn't think it was going to be ten years ago? Actually, Lily thought of the idea. I didn't think of it, mm -hmm. and she was living in Thailand. She had met Watt, and she called me and said, "Mom, we could start an import business, right?" Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, we could do that. At the time, I was just like stay at home mom. Home in Idaho. Yeah, I like to go out the lake, twiddling her. No, I'm a baking cake. No, I tried to find, a, no, to find to a job. Nobody would hire me. That was their loss because I had too much experience. Did you make a resume? <laughs> Did you put your resume in? Did you go to the PR? door? No, you but tried. I filled out applications. I did fill out applications. Where? At um, the Mountain Schweitzer okay. and about two or three restaurants. I really, I, I did. You yeah. really wanted to try yeah. to get a job. Yeah, I wanted to work part time to get out of the house. Working is I'm fun. not really the type that to likes work. to stay home. But oh, you have too much experience, and they would hire these really like awful looking. I don't want to say bad words, but they didn't. They whatever. Let's say enough of that. And they didn't hire me. And I had thirty years experience in restaurant, hotel management. All kinds of stuff. I mean, I worked as a manager of hotels, but no, they wouldn't even hire me as a hostess. And I was like, well, that really sucks. <laughs> I can't even get my <laughs> this job in Idaho, but that old woman with no teeth, they hired her. <laughs> and I was so insulted. And I went, oh, I was so depressed. And then Lily said, Mom, we should start this import business. And I went, oh, yeah, 
I'll do that. And then if I can just make a little bit of money, I can go visit her. That was my goal, is to set up a little something so I could make just enough money to go and see Lily once a year. And then I got into it big time. I did all the research. I met Lily and Watt in Bangkok. Pratunam. Pratunam. And I went, oh. I was actually so fascinated with all the products and all the people and everything there. I was really, I couldn't hardly cross the street because I was going to run into something because I couldn't stop Which looking at everything. And I have done. Still do. I know. And then we set the business up because we thought we were just going to do online. And we did mm -hmm. get the website up right away. Yeah. But we weren't, we weren't, we didn't know how to do search engine. And we, we didn't got know model, what to do. What, this plastic model <laughs> from Bandicott that we brought, brought back on the train, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And then we would set them up on the beach. Watts Beach beach Bar and we would take photos. Pictures. And then we can sell this. And then the one, I remember one girl was like, why don't you model instead of putting on those? And I was like, oh, I don't want to model. She's pretty though. I could have modeled. Of course you could. I don't know why I didn't want to. You're so pretty. Lily, Lily is the I most photogenic modeling. person. She looks good in everything. And Every she's picture. photogenic. Even Me when she's too. trying to look bad in a picture, she still looks yeah. good. She makes us sick. No, no, she doesn't. But she is photogenic. So then um, we, we, went, um, we shipped some stuff home, and I stuffed my suitcase full of stuff. And I came back to Sandpoint thinking, okay, I'm going to just sell online. Well, we weren't getting any sales online because nobody knew who. We didn't, they didn't even know who we were or what we were. So I had a party at my house in Sago, Idaho, and we called it Tie One On. <laughs> that was a really cool George name. thought about that. And we invited everybody we knew, and everybody came and bought stuff. And I went, oh, I like doing this. This is really as true as it gets. And George made my ties. Yeah. And made, we made saute chicken. And then I saw this little tiny store for Ren in Sandpoint. It wasn't any bigger than a bedroom, tiny. But unfortunately, it was right next to Joe's cheesesteak. And the odor of the cheesesteak got into the store. They're, and really, like, they're really good cheesesteaks. They're steaks, really so. good cheesesteaks, but they, don't, they made, your, made our store smell. And I'm funny about smells. But we were there for about a month. And today, my first em employee, Linda Hutcherson, hey, Linda, came in to see me. And I was so happy to see Miss Linda. She was my first employee. She came to my Taiwan on party. And then we went from one store to another and grew with a lot of very diligent work. That's the truth. Would that be one of your main pieces of advice for entrepreneurs, Tell, saying them, telling them to start small? And continuously grow and grow and grow. Yeah, I would definitely say that because we, for many, many years, we had no debt. We just worked, bought and sold. And I worked for eight years just about every shift. I had a couple helpers, but not a lot. Lynn, who you might have met on another video, she's been my mainstay, and Bev. But I've had my same employees a long time, but I started out very slow, cautious, and careful. That's true. I would say one of the most amazing things about our business is definitely the memories that oh, we have made we've with got each some other. serious. We've really traveled all over the world, yeah. like to, to Europe, obviously Europe, to Thailand, Thailand, Vietnam, Bali, Vietnam, and where are we going next? I don't know. Italy. Well, we'll no, be we back to Italy. Mm -hmm. Italy. Maybe next year. But that's definitely one of the most amazing things about our business is being able to have that time together and then now sharing it with you guys. We've had a lot of fun and we've had a, a lot of we've had arguments and fusses a little bit. Mm -hmm. One time I was in Chot's Chot is our main tailor in Vietnam and Lily at that now Lily's very patient, but years ago she wasn't as patient and we were doing some clothing and she'd just get up and leave me. Yeah, <laughs> That's the truth. Really bad and I'd be like, I need help. She just well it's really me. hard. It's hot. It's hard to sit on the floor and yeah, just you're do sitting that on all the floor day. all day. It's but not glamorous. It is people it's think, really oh, hard work. You need to interpose that stressful. picture of us climbing the top of that little tiny house. I'll, I'll find it. Oh fabric buying in Vietnam for a small business so you have to really be patient because there's so much, a lot of it's not pretty, but then you find that little treasure. And I get excited because I love fabric and I love clothes and I love, I really do love what I do, but I'm trying to work a little bit less because for eight years it was grueling. Because we I don't, don't. <laughs> don't what? <laughs> like I don't like fabric. I don't like clothes very much. <laughs> but you look good in them. 
I mean, I try to look nice, yeah. but like, it's not like I'm your passion. fashion. Person. Clothes are definitely my passion. Too. I we love, love clothes. I'm a clothes fiend. See this top, this dress? We made this with Chot in Vietnam last September. Now there's a story. We're supposed to be telling stories. I got a lot of those, but I got to Vietnam. I went alone. I went alone to Saigon, got off the plane, went to bed. The next day I'm sick feeling. But I couldn't waste my time, so I had to go. And my little friend, Hi T, she picked us up, picked me up. I'm by myself. And by the time I got to this fabric market in Saigon, it's in the, um, I really don't know what section of the city it's in. It's kind of near it's the airport, matter. doesn't matter. I was so sick, I could hardly pick out fabric, but I did. I said, okay, that's nice. Okay, I like that. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I take all that. I take, I take. And I have a little piece of paper that says, Hi. I don't speak Vietnamese. That was but I so wanna... smart. Smart. I thought of all this. I so she to... got a. She wrote down exactly what she needed the fabric seller to say to them. She got someone, a friend of ours, to translate, translate it, it, print it off. Because so it's in a different out. They have a different. Do they they have don't have an alphabet. No, no, but but it's a little bit. That different. was really really. And smart they don't of you. speak English, so maybe a few words, something like that. But you, are, I was totally on my so own. So you have to buy it and then send it to. Else to chat. Chat. Well, I send Chot the money, so she's got maybe four or five thousand dollars, and then I have this little card, and I'm like old woman here, I'm sixty six years old, saying, "I hi, I didn't speak it. Can you help me? I want to buy this. You're," <laughs> and they go, "Yang yang yang." I'm like, "Oh my gosh." Oh, I said, please. How do you say please? I don't know. Gamma and something. Then Thank I say, you. call Sin my Chow. tailor. Xin Chow. Call my tailor. So then they call my tailor, Chot. She talks to them, and in five minutes, she sends them the money for the fabric. Then everybody's happy. But at first, they look at me like they don't trust me. Because you see virtually no Americans at this market. I don't know if I've ever seen any American there. Have you? But people really like you. Oh, you well. just have a special quality to so you. <laughs> and anyway, so then, but now I have a bunch of fabric shops that they do know me and they work with me. This lady I've bought a lot from. So this is a textured, it is a poly, but so nice, soft. And this, because it's textured, like, oh, this is like puffy. Not puffy, but it's textured. It hides a lot of, you know. It hides your cellulite. It does, and it's it really good. Say. I'm wearing this um, this coming weekend. I'm going to Las Vegas with my husband to work, but I'm wearing this to a Valentine dinner. So anyway, that was part of our process. I was supposed to film for Chloe, but well, you know, I you was have sick. to pivot. I couldn't, I couldn't Sometimes film. we just can't. There's only so much you can do, and maybe you should. We should focus on doing less so we can accomplish more. Well, I did didn't do as much because I was too. I really was too sick. But I had my little friend take me. You can't always multitask day. doing no. making the content and, and she, working. My friend T she picks me up in a motorcycle, so I'm holding on to this motorcycle. And then we have a monsoon, and I'm sick, and I'm holding on to T, and I'm shaking. I'm thinking I gotta get back to my room. I have to get back to my room. So I got to my room. I took a shower, and I just laid down and ordered room service. So did you order a cheeseburger? No, I ordered um. So I don't know. And then I, then I, kept, I did that for three days straight by myself, going to different markets. Then I took an airplane to Hue, Vietnam, and I'm still sick. I was sick for days, but I went to see Chot, my dear old wonderful tailor for many years, and I couldn't stay in there long because I was, didn't feel well enough. But I said, make this. I like this. I would sit and talk for 15 minutes, and within 20 minutes, the sample would be made. Here's two songs you like. Oh my gosh, Chad, that's so. Per she made this sample of this cute dress with this little knot in the middle. 20 minutes, with no no pattern. She just look at it. They lay it on the ground. They eye it up and just make it. I've never seen anything like it. So what we do with our business is we have our own brand of clothes that we produce that's what we were talking about but we work on a very small scale we're not nike producing millions mm -hmm. and millions and millions of pieces a very small what's so what's the name of your dress i don't know look in the back i don't know you we were ready this is the luciana v-neck luciana v-neck maxi dress it's really pretty i had to trim it because it was too long for me and him it because what's I'm the name short. of this coat well, that's from a specialty brand, and you should have the tag here. Did you lose the tag? Sure. This code more. is by Lini Polizzi. Polizzi, uh, yeah. And I will put the name of it right below with a picture of what it 
is on our website. You can go there, shopgraceandjoy.com, to look at this coat. It's really warm. It has a really, really nice warm. leather buckle detail. It has piping all around it, a beautiful wide oh. lapel. It looks great on you, Lily. We are going into our 11th year in business. So where do you see your, where do you see the business in 20 years? Her taking over, because Lily's in Thailand, I want to semi-retire, but I have to wait until her children are a little bit older. Yeah, I gotta get the, I gotta get these kids out. Because I can't really leave it to her like that, because there's a lot to do. But I, she does a lot. She does all the social media. I would like to continue growing our online sales, which we are doing really well with. And that's been a challenge because it's a lot of work. I mean, a lot of times you look at our website and you don't realize how much work goes into it. Yeah, people are like, oh, people. just sell online. Oh, yeah, post right. pictures. No, it's so hard to sell online because who are you going to sell to? People don't and know until you. Lily started her amazing YouTube channel, which really, I think, Launched opened us. so yeah. many doors for us on our website. We were just overwhelmed with yeah. having a website because we have two yeah. physical stores. We have two stores. We had all of our product online, but we weren't as sharp on it. And about three years ago, I sat down with my one of my main employees, Lynn, and I said, Lynn, we have to start selling online because that's the future. And she was like, Susan, you just like to make work for yourself. I said, well, I might, but well, I where, do it. Well, where our stores are in northern Idaho in a town called Coeur d'Alene and Sandpoint, we're very seasonal. So our big season is Labor Day to Memorial Day. So at no, sell Memorial Day. Mem in the summer. 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 In the summer. Why, why would you say that? I don't know if she Because knows. that's like, no, that's, that's our say. season. I don't know what Labor, Labor Day is. She's or been gone so Day uh, is. Just say spring I'm summer. I'm just like, I get things backwards. So selling online has been a really helpful yeah. fall and winter and spring. Well, the YouTube channels have been the big thing for us because people have gotten to know us. So we really feel bad that we haven't posted in a while, but we couldn't because of the baby coming. But And I'm leaving in another week to Thailand, but I am going to try to do videos and send them to Chloe. My husband's coming with me the whole time, so I'm really excited to have him with me. And we're going to take a break and rest and just kind of take it easy. But she'll be doing the video, so you'll still see us because yeah, I'll be Yeah, we're trying to there. go live more and do some styling shows of new items, and that's one of my favorite things to do is definitely styling people up. So uh, as far as our future goes, I would like to continue to grow our website presence, our social media presence, and our YouTube. We enjoy doing the YouTube because we get to talk to people, and I have met well, I don't never really met them, but they know me, Francie and Justina, and we have a lovely doctor out of Jakarta who buys from us, and she's so nice. So many customers, Rebecca, um, Patty, and they all kind of know me through YouTube, and they message me, and I do a quick chat, because your online business out there in the, the world really means a lot to us. And it means a lot to me because I'm a people connector, but I can't always be in the front of our store talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. And what I really like lately in the summer, people have been coming in to see us from all around the country. And they said, we took our vacation in San Juan to meet you. And I love it. It it's makes so me cool. very happy. Is Lily here? Is Chloe here? Or somebody here? And first of all, they don't want to speak. They look, they do this because it's so cute. And I'm thinking, oh, I think it's somebody from YouTube. I think Hope somebody got your know. makeup on. I have a look okay. And then they go, are you Gigi? And I go, yes, I'm Gigi. And then one person said, oh, you look better in person. <laughs> I didn't bother me because I actually am not that photogenic. But I laugh. Yeah, but that's okay. Some people say that about me. Yeah, because I do look better if you meet me in person. Well, I look rather, better. What would you rather than say it? Good. I know. You look better on that camera. I know. I, it, you know, it's just funny. Lily, where do you see the business in 10 years? <coughs> to the top, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Taking, let these children take over. In 10 years. We're establishing a generational fountain, like the house of Gucci. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
doubt. Why do you doubt yourself? Well, I well because I don't doubt myself. That's hard. But I I will because say no, it's not. the we hardest it. thing that we have, and it's not the sewing, and it's not the, the running of the business is on my shoulders, and it's not fun sometimes. But hardest thing really is finding really good fabric and the amounts that we can use. That's really challenging. I think the hardest thing is getting all the moving pieces together. It's not, in my opinion, it's not just the fabric or the employees or the money. It's just, it's everything and getting it all together to create this beautiful, wonderful business that is working towards something great. Yeah. And also I think it's hard to find like exactly what our niche yeah because you, definitely. you have your idea of what's your style yeah. you have your idea so. well I would say our niche is three generations grandmother mother granddaughter that's what I always like to yeah. say yeah because you do have children too, yeah we so. have and we have team we have stuff for young people if you look closely on our website you'll see a lot of things that are for that under 30 person that is slimmer and more youngish and then we but have mom is age. really good at having an open eye and saying like oh this is what the young people need. You are. You're mm -hmm. actually. You're really open to like new ideas. I have no idea what's trending at all. Uh, I, don't look I do. Like she knows more about trend. I know more about celebrity. And I don't. I don't. It's like mom. Pearls are really trending. You need to look out for pearls, and you need to look out for bows. Yeah, I'm gonna look for bows. I'll get pearls in Bangkok. And you're really good at it, and you mm -hmm. are actually really good at taking advice. I try to take advice because I have a I have some advice to give you. Like I told you, when you, you stop get... listening to what people are trying to help you with, you're closed minded. You have to be open minded in anything. People, oh, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Oh, I just try to be open minded. So yeah, we could try that. Oh, let's do that. Like Ooh, I told you to work. get this new brand. Oh, it's so expensive. I don't know. And I was like, Mom, I'm telling you this Gotta new brand. It. Another store has it. Another store is going to get it. And and then we sold out every piece. We have one piece left. It's called Show Me Your Moo Moo. It was yeah. expensive, but it was so pretty. So we like all that kind of stuff. Well, in 10 years, I would like to see our see Lily and I and you two, like taking more trips together, but bringing our daughters. That would be so fun. Oh, yeah, you could bring Lila and you can bring Charlotte. Yeah, we'll leave and doing, boys just doing at home. The, yeah, doing the same thing, but just continuing okay. the, tr the tradition. I have something to say. You know what they did today? This is so funny and it's so cute. They sent me a picture, and there was Leon and Hendrix laying in the bed right oh, next so to cute. each other, all cuddled up. Because Leon is gentle and a little shy, and Hendrix is a little bit all boy rough. And so it was just so sweet to see those two little boys all sit next together in the bed with the covers on them. This is the picture. It's really cute. It's, it's really cute. But just to, being able to share the business of grace and joy with the next generation is so such an amazing blessing. I mean, people, yeah. that's just so it's so great. And I've been very blessed to have two wonderful daughters. Mm -hmm. And when we go places, they do take care of me. They help me carry stuff. But I'm also blessed because I'm very um, intrepid and I have high too intrepid and I have sometimes. high energy and I just go honey I go for it oh I know what I did once Ooh. well your friend, friend's a rule breaker oh yeah if there's a rule and it doesn't make any sense I break it so my friend calls me Chom she's in Bangkok Susan you need to come see factory I go well what factory you can come see they go home at night and only one there I'm like yeah, but I'm a little bit nervous to do that. No, no, you come, you come. I'm like, okay, I'll come. She picks me up at 11 o'clock at night in downtown Bangkok and takes me way out somewhere. And I'm thinking, why am I doing this? I'm like, scared. You, you were there that time. You didn't come. I didn't go. She didn't go, but I went. Oh, yeah, I went. I knew Chum. I wasn't scared. She wanted to show me where they sewed and how but they why made things. Why be at night? Because the owner wasn't there at night. <laughs> so I had to go when the owner wasn't there. I said, okay, I'll go. And I'm thinking at 1 o'clock I'm coming home. I'm not a night person. I go to bed one at 8. o'clock? That's two, two hours. Well, it took an hour to get there Why by taxi. I don't remember you doing that. I did night. do it. I surely did. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Why did so I So how was do? it? It was interesting. They had little sailors. Little, they, you think you're going to a factory and all it is is a big 20 by 20 foot room with four sewing machines and fabric stacked everywhere. That's pretty much how a lot of sewing is done. And even for, for when they're making thousands of pieces, it's just usually four or five machines. It's not this yeah, big. You think of this big fancy factory mm -mm. that's like. <laughs> with 
you know, hundreds of hours. <laughs> well, they have that too, but that's if they're making massive quantities. Yeah. Most of the that's like China. Yeah, China, and there's some of that in Bangkok too. But most of our people do smaller production, and I like that. You, it's it's better. That was crazy. I've done a lot of crazy things. What else, Lily? Crazy. Just remember when you came back sick from. Vietnam and I tried to take you to the doctor and they didn't want to treat you and just give you Botox. I know, I said, I don't want Botox. That's just last time. I said, I don't care about Botox. I'm sick. And you left. And I said, With please. Your face they said, because, they said this, because last time when you come here, we had people from all around the world come because they saw you, Gigi. I went, I don't want it. I don't even care about that. I'm sick. So did you get the Botox? I don't know. Did I get it? But you sure look good. Well, maybe I did get it, but I didn't want it. I don't care. I really, it's not something I'm like seeking. It's not a big deal for me. But if somebody's going to give it to me for free, I'll take it. She didn't charge me because she wanted to She wanted to use me in her promo because it brought her stuff. Well, it was kind of like that. But I wasn't there for that. I wanted medicine. And thank goodness the young man gave it gave me medicine. I was sick. Well, this has been a great production of Chloe Simone Says. And if you are new around here, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell bottom for when I go. Bell bottom? Bell, bell, bell bottom. button. Hit that subscribe bell button and bottom. ring that bell. Give Chloe a like and we'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> That was good. What has she done? She was gonna do it. I know, but like sometimes. My hair. The other day, when we had to bring Leon to the hospital with us, he goes, Gigi's having a baby. <laughs> Look at him laughing. She thought I was coming to the hospital to have a baby because that's what she yeah. did the last time. <laughs> I'm not leaving until George gets here. This has been a really, really crazy week. What happened this week? Well, I started to not be able to talk on Monday or like function right, just out of the blue. So they took me in an ambulance and then I went to the Kootenai Hospital and found out 80% chance I have brain cancer. I'm not a bitch, sorry about that. But I'm gonna fight it. I'm strong and I'm heading to MB Anderson because my wonderful husband, he got on the phone and he didn't take no for an answer and he got us in. And hopefully in a day or two, we're gonna find out more and move forward. But thank you so much for all follow for following everyone. Thank you for following <laughs> us and supporting us. We've received so many nice messages. Yes, this so many time. I can't follow and I'm having trouble fu functioning because I got a tumor in the brain. But you're gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. Yeah. Don't cry because I'll just dry your eye. Right now. I was gonna buy you a pizza pie. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching and I'm sorry if we're just putting this out there. We just decided to because We've had so many people message us, so much, such nice messages. I can't keep up. So anyway, thank you, and pray that I can get rid of my tumor in the brain and I can be myself again. And guess what? We were on the way to, Th to Th Thailand that night, and it happened. So God blessed us and brought us here instead of there, because that would have been harder. That would have been horrible. But one of the things we're doing is, you know, in... Luckily, we are blessed with really amazing insurance, but insurance just isn't going to cover everything. And we have these Gigi sweatshirts, and we're going to be selling these on shopgraceandjoy.com. You can pre order a sweatshirt even to support Gigi, our family, and our store. And they'll probably ship in the next five weeks. We have some in stock now. So we're going to use these as a fundraiser. I have insurance, so that's good, but it doesn't cover everything. And I have a feeling it's going to be kind of rough. So we'll see what happens. Well, thank you again, and have a great day. And please pray for Gigi, my I'm mom. okay, honey. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just like, She's you know, emotional. I'm just emotional. I'm hormonal. Well, I, I'm hormonal. Cried, I cried all week, so <laughs> I've stopped crying now. Because what do you do when you, you say, You just can't oh, cry all the whole time. I've got brain tumor. <laughs> go, oh, really? Oh, I don't like that idea. <laughs> No, I have to laugh because if you laugh, you feel better. You do. That's true. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye.